welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you Penelope's three month update. If you're new here, hi, my name is Chelsea. I am a first time mom to a three month old baby girl named Penelope. I do motherhood related videos along with vlogs, a little bit of fashion and beauty. So if you're into those kind of things, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and yeah. Usually I film her updates or the majority of my videos that are motherhood related in her nursery, but she's sleeping and I didn't want to bother her. Just wanted to get this done, so I figured let me just change it up a little bit. So I'm just chilling in the corner of my dining room. So I have to say with month three, not too many exciting things, not too many things that were that much different than I already kind of experienced with her in month two. Um, but I will go over just a couple things that did change. Um, one of the things that I'm noticing with her is that she's really trying to roll over. If you follow me on my Instagram, you probably would have seen this. She does this thing where she's kind of trying to push her body over. Um, and I think it's part of it is her trying to get comfortable when she's tired, but she's also doing it on her play mat. So I do think it has to do with her trying to roll over. They do tend to try to roll over between months like three and four or around month four. So I'm thinking next month, I think next month in general, I'm just gonna have a bunch of like more like new updates for you, but I'm thinking sometime next month, she'll probably start to actually roll over, which is crazy because I don't know, that's just like a big change. I have to like position her differently during her sleep. I have to unswaddle her arms if she starts to roll over. So that's gonna be interesting. The other thing that's kind of crazy to me is that she, I'm almost positive she's showing early signs of teething. I spoke to my mom about this and she had four kids. <laughs> so um, I go to her for a lot of my advice. Also, my youngest brother is not even 10. So she's not too far from knowing what's going on or whatever. But anyway, she said that that's a possibility and I Googled it and it is possible for them to start teething as early as three months. So I think that's what she's doing because she sticks her whole fist in her mouth and it's like not even to the point of her just like enjoying it like oh whatever like sucking her thumb she is like cramming it in there like chomping on it to the point where she's like gagging because she's sticking her hands like all the way down her throat so i think she's just trying to get some relief and she might be feeling a little itching or something so i would not be surprised if next month i see a little bit of teething happening or a little bit more teething happening teething hap teething happening teething happening i won't be surprised if i see a little bit more of those teething signs next month but that's a huge thing for me because some babies don't teeth or get teeth till you know much later and some of them get er get them early and I know that can be hard when they do start to teeth, so I don't know if I'm ready for all that. Two things that she loves, she's still loving her bouncer. I'm so happy I bought that thing. Again, you guys hear me shout that thing out all the time on my Instagram. Um, I've taken it now into the bathroom while I'm showering. She just chills in it, which is a huge help because I, if I can't shower while she's napping because I have something else to do, I can at least shower while she's awake. And again, huge help. So still loving that, which, in turn makes me love it. I love that bouncer. Um, and then the other thing that she loves is taking a bath. She is obsessed with taking a bath. It's like the best part of our day. I put her in the bath at the end of the day. Every night I bathe her um, and she splashes and she kicks and she's just so happy in her bathtub. And it's great because it's also, it's calming and relaxing, but it's also um, like getting all that energy out. Like she's kicking and moving and going which is good because before I put her to bed, I kind of just wanted to get all that energy out and get nice and tired. So she loves the bath. I think that's her favorite thing probably. Like if she could be in the bathtub all day, she probably would be. Kind of going with that, she's gotten a lot better with getting dressed after the bath. She still doesn't love getting out because I mean, she's having fun and then I'm getting her out and then she's getting cold and then I got to change her and like the whole process isn't that fun. But she used to scream and be so upset when I took her out of the bathtub. She used to not like it at all <laughs> she used to cry and she used to just oh my god it was just not fun and she would scream bloody murder pretty pretty much when i would change her when she was like one or two months and then um like halfway into two months into now she's just so much better i can change her i put the pacifier in which is a huge help i do put the pacifier and she still loves her passy um and she is like fine she can deal with it for a little while i keep her entertained i sing to her talk to her and then before you know it, it's over and she's fine. But yeah, she loves taking a bath, but is, and is getting better with the changing, like me changing her and everything like that after the bath. I actually was able to take out the newborn portion of the bathtub. Um, when was it? I think into her, like almost when she was three months. So she fit into the regular bathtub when she was, 
just about turning three months or a little less than that so that was great because now she's a little bit more free and I think that's another reason why she loves it so much so a couple things um, like her pounds um, how many ounces she's drinking and her diaper size so her diaper size is still diaper size one she's fitting in those great I did change her diapers from huggies to pampers because I was have she was having I was having <laughs> she was having major blowouts with the huggies and it was to the point where she's getting ridiculous like I know babies have blowouts no matter what diapers you use but these were like every time she pooped and I was just not having it so I switched it to the pampers long story short and so much better will she still have an occasional blowout yes I know it's gonna happen but I would say it's like 90% better or 95% better so so happy about that but she is in still she still is in size one diapers and as far as how many pounds she is she is probably around 10 maybe 10 and a half because at her last doctor's appointment when she was just over three months um she was nine nine what was it no she was 10 she was almost 10 pounds so she was just just about 10 pounds so she has to be at least 10 and a half i don't know getting close to 11 she's right around there i don't have another doctor's appointment until july so it's going to be a little longer before i know i wanted to update you guys on the ounces that she's been drinking because in my last update i did not really know and i said i would kind of get you guys on track with this update it's just hard when i'm i'm basically exclusively breastfeeding so it's really hard for me to kind of figure more or less how much she's drinking but just estimating from what i've been doing with her recently which i'll get into in a minute i'm gonna assume she's drinking like about four ounces throughout the day and then right before bed when i give her her bottle she only finishes maybe two two and a half but that's because i will feed her right before i put her in the bath um which is like an hour before she gets her last feeding of the night through with the bottle so she's already getting at least like an ounce or two from me and then she's getting like another couple ounces from the bottle before bed so the reason i do that is because i have been trying to keep up my milk supply um because my milk supply had dipped and if you didn't see my last vlog i talked all about it in that vlog and what i'm doing to improve it and everything like that so it was just like an, a good way for me to get her on my boob just a little bit um more often throughout that time because my supply would dip around like four o'clock five o'clock and then stay kind of low throughout the night until the morning which the morning it's like totally the opposite i'm like out to here and another reason was because when i would give her her last bottle of the night or her last feeding of the night with a bottle or even with my boob she would get cranky and fall asleep and i just felt like she wasn't getting enough so instead of waiting right before bed to give her like her last feeding i would feed her an hour before and then i would feed her or i am feeding her one more time so i just know that at least if she doesn't drink like a full bottle she at least bed only an hour ago in an ideal world I'd like her to just have one nice big feeding right before bed but we're working on it when my milk supply dipped and I gave her her first bottle in a long time for her last feeding of the night she drank five ounces so I know that she was definitely wanting more milk but now that my milk supply is better and I feed her right before that hour um, kind of time before bed she only drinks like two two and a half ounces so i did i actually bought the bigger ounce bottles because i was like oh my gosh she's already drinking five ounces i'm not i don't have any other bottles and this bottle only goes up to five ounces but now i think we're okay so i don't think i'm gonna need those for a little while but i'm gonna need them eventually so i have them so that's kind of an update on her ounces i'm gonna assume again she's drinking maybe four during the day but she's drinking on me i'm feeding her exclusively through my breast so when she gets that one bottle at night it's kind of hard to tell because she's already tired and you know already fed an hour before so i can't tell you exactly how much but around i would say around four ounces she's drinking at this age i hope that wasn't all over the place i feel like that was but i was just kind of trying to like figure everything out there with all the ounces and the breastfeeding and everything um sleeping i wanted to update you guys on the sleeping i'm just looking at my notes on my phone that's why i keep pulling up my phone but sleeping I am going to be going back to work soon, which I will update everything like regarding that soon in an upcoming vlog and everything. But um, I'm slowly kind of trying to transition her into going to bed closer to 9, 9.30 instead of going to bed um, from 9.30 to 10. So really in like the 9, 9.30 window instead of like that 9.30 all the way to 10.30 window. Um, just because we're gonna have to wake up earlier so I want to make sure she's getting enough sleep throughout the night. So that has been, it was a little bit more of a struggle 
when I first started, but now she's doing better. She slept through, she slept through the night regardless, but instead of doing like an eight, nine hour stretch, she was doing like five, six, no, never five, six, seven hour stretch. So it did throw it off a little, which was expected. Um, but I think we're on track now. Last night she did almost eight. The night before that was like eight and a half. So she's still technically sleeping through the night, but um, we're just kind of trying to work on getting her to bed a little earlier so that way she can wake up a little earlier when I do go back to work. Naps, we're still working on naps. Right now she's doing about an hour nap every time I put her down to 45 minutes and then the last, or 45 minutes to an hour I should say, depending on which nap of the day it is. The first nap is always about an hour and then after that it's kind of hit or miss. And then the last nap before bed um, is a quick cat nap. It's like 35 minutes, which I'm totally fine with because I don't want her to oversleep anyway when I'm going to be putting her down for the night. I just want her to have like a little cat nap before bed just so that she can stay up and get a bath and get fed and all that stuff without getting super cranky and overtired. So naps we're still working on, but she's doing good. Still napping in her crib, still um being able to put her down and her do her thing and like i said she still sleeps for like 45 minutes to an hour i'd like her to extend those and have them a little less so like longer naps um less and less throughout the day instead of short naps which in turn turns into long longer times that you have to have her down for a nap or more times i have to have her down for a nap so i say the best for last the most exciting thing that happened within this three month time frame i would say a little bit after three months because i'm always a little late to these videos but i would say the best thing that happened is that she let out a little giggle she did it like three times and i was in shock so in shock that i didn't even film it and i was like there's no way like is she even supposed to giggle this early? You know, I'm a first time mom. So I'm like, I don't know when these things exactly happen, but I thought it was like maybe next month. Um, and I was just joking around with her, like playing with her and I wasn't even trying to make her giggle and she giggled three times and I was so in shock. I didn't even record it, like I said, but I was able to get like one tiny little clip of her giggling or one giggle. She literally just went like, eh, like at the end of a video, which I'll insert here. But that was all I was able to get because, you know, that's all. That's all I could get at that time because I was so, like, shocked. I didn't even think she was giggling. So I haven't had, I haven't been able to have get her to giggle since, but it was 100% a giggle. So I know it's coming. Like, I feel like four months is going to be a huge um, progression of all these little things that she's starting to do now, like rolling, laughing, um, teething. I just think next month is going to be a big thing. And supposedly that's when the big four month sleep, re sleep regression comes. So, oh my God, I'm not looking forward to that. And she's currently in leap three. So, so far she's been doing okay, but she is, has been a little bit cranky, just a little bit more clingy and cranky, but she's still such a really like good baby. I'm a little out of order, but the last thing I wanted to mention about her is her clothing size. I officially got rid of all of her newborn, all of her zero to three. That's all in storage bins in her closet. Um, I'll leave my nursery kind of organization video or how I organize her clothes up here so you guys can check it out if you don't know what I'm talking about. But that's all in bins in her closet. And now she's all in three to six. So that's exciting because I just didn't, I don't know, I just feel like she started off so small. And I, I say this in every update video, but she started off so small that I can't believe that she's fitting into these clothes at like a normal rate in a way. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about and you're this is the first time you're watching my videos, she was only 5'2 when she was born and she was um, like under five pounds when I brought her home. So it's just been a huge progression. Every time she gains weight, every time she's in a new size, a new diaper size, it's huge for me because I'm just like, oh my God, this is, it's crazy. I think that's all my updates on her right now. She's still super smiley, super happy, just a really good baby. I love her. I feel super blessed to be with her, like have her as my daughter because I know if I had to be home with her all day, every day, and she was colicky or cranky or whatever, it would be 10 times harder. But she makes it so much easier because she's such, such a good baby. So, okay, guys, so I think that's everything I have to say today about Penelope's three month update. So, I don't have Penelope right now to show you because she is napping, but I'm sure you guys just saw her in my last vlog and you'll be seeing more of her 
Um, obviously, every time I vlog, she's pretty much in it, or she is in it, so you guys will see her there. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!